Hey guys, I guess there's something about me and corn that just don't get along. I did pick up fixed. Actually, it's this other side. Ah, uh, yeah, she looks a lot better. Anyway, my buddy was good enough to lend me this trailer. I'm fixing to buy me a trailer. I'm tired of borrowing trailers and I, I don't want to mess his up. You know what I'm saying? Because every time you borrow something, it seems like something goes wrong. Nothing went wrong with the trailer. But, and I unloaded these, I emptied one into a, a tote. Actually, it's a little more than a tote. Uh, these things are kind of cool, but I don't, I don't like them near as good as these totes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I set it down on the ground, and I don't know if I had bumped it or it was just going to rip anyway. But, uh, yeah, ripped a hole in it. <laughs> so anyway, I've been shoveling it into that tote. Oh. <sighs> It's hot <laughs> but thank god we got it we got us some more corn we, we still have plenty but we like to keep extra if we can this guy gave us an awesome deal on it one of my buddies at work one of their family members he's a uh, seemed like a pretty nice guy he uh hooked me up set all on my truck for me he said if i come back next time we can put in them coats instead of these bags because because even some of these for him they were ripping he said these was these actually cost more than that bag over there he said was pretty cheap and it, it's lasted a lot longer but these are like old bags or something so anyway that's why i had them on these pallets and then somehow or another i busted that one or it was just time for it to bust all right guys i'm gonna go get some totes and we're gonna try to dump these in some totes and maybe i'll get some footage of that if it ain't dark and uh, get my buddy's trailer back to him. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. Maybe we'll get some hogs tonight. This tractor. The AC don't work though. And I have put some money in it. I need to just take it to the dealer and let them fix it maybe. This is a good little tractor. We'll see what we can get into. I unloaded that one last night and I don't, and it's got some spots on it. I guess it finally ripped through. I uh, gotta be in neutral. Okay. All right. This is just a good little tractor. This thing starts every time. Every time it starts. I have done so much work with this thing. Need to change oil on it. It's got 778 hours on it. We've had 200 when I got it. And it is just a good little tractor. Let's see if we can uh, get this bag. I, I uh, I'm gonna try to say. Okay, let me see if I can get these mixed up. Here's the problem: is it broke on him? There we go. Right there. If that will work, that might work. The knees come a little bit more forward. Yeah, I just love this little tractor. It's a hydrostat. I need to get out to my place and uh, do some uh, deer plot stuff. Get my, my rototiller on there and go out there and plow up a spot where I can plant some weed or something. All right, let's see. I emptied most of this bag. Maybe, maybe we can get it up without spilling it and ripping the rest of it. And then cut the bottom, or open the bottom. They got an opening on the bottom of them. Man, that thing is just junk, isn't it? Look at that. Dang it. <laughs> Tractors barely will lift them high enough to get them over them containers with it hanging down like that and everything. All right, let's see if we can get it in there. go I think I'm just gonna cut this one it's not any good anyway all the uh, 
all the straps are broke on it. Should have a tie deal there though, somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Probably don't need to be up underneath this thing, huh? Actually. Let's try and get this. If I can figure this out. Now these ones are kind of cheap bags here. They're not too good, he said. I think they're older or something. Also, he said. We'll try to get them up here and get them in these totes so we ain't got to worry about the rain. If we ever get any more rain. How does that thing work? I haven't used one of these particular ones. shoved up in there here it comes here it comes the heck that one's tied too Let's just cut it Here we go guys, getting that one. All right, that works better than, that works better than trying to uh, bucket it all in there. <laughs> all right. Throw this bag over here. I could probably go back up into uh there we go. Up into that. Alright. There's one bag over here. I think it'll be it's good still. Dump that one off. There we go. And we'll move this uh pallet. Or shut my door. No one it breaking off. That's all I need. <laughs> ah, get it broke off. That wouldn't be good. Uh, here are my sons. Uh, we call that Star Say Skid Steer. That ain't right. Sea Dew deal. Uh, He's trying to sell it. I wish he wouldn't sell it. Because uh, he just went through all the problem of getting it. And it runs really good. I said, man, you already got it paid off and everything. Why do you want to, you know, mess with it? Mess with uh, selling it. You'll want another one next year. He's like, oh, I'll just make payments next year. I said, man, you've already got it paid off. <laughs> oh, little knucklehead. Oh, these forks are really handy when you need them, man. I guarantee you, they are the cat's meow when you need them. Uh, let's see. I need to move these around. Let's move this one. We'll just move it out of the way for a minute. I may be able to get it, get on it right there. If I can get beside that one and dump it. I can go up here and just scoot it over, I guess. You can just do so much with a good little tractor. That it's just crazy. This thing is just big enough that you can lift up these totes. I think he estimated them at 1,600 pounds. We didn't estimate, he actually weighed them. I believe that's what he said, 1,600 pounds a piece. All right, I'm gonna have to hook that up real quick. 
hopefully it'll lift this one hopefully this one will stay together so I can get it up off the ground up oh, it's broke too ah oh, man things are junk aren't they what if it'll let me lift it up we'll try it I may have to scoop some out of it or something to uh, actually get it up If it'll let me lift, I don't know. It's lifting right there. Let's see if I can move the pallet. And I'll get it ready and I'll put that tub underneath it. Sure don't want to get underneath this stuff. It breaks and falls on you. Pin you down, kill you break your arm or anything oops get one of these ready to go if it's gonna work I'll just lift it straight up and then slide this underneath it you know what I mean yeah All right. let's see what it'll do a lot of weight right there uh oh you may break too uh oh <laughs> there we go Trying to level that out. No, oh, it looks like that's gonna be about it. We'll just cut the bottom on this one too. If we can. Uh -oh. See if I can get a little more on the tilt. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's different when you're not sitting in a tractor, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's different when you're not sitting in it. Now right, let's see if we can cheat and get a little more. Let's see, oh, roll up. All right, now let's see. I'm almost over it. I'm just afraid that one side's going to uh, cut out. See what happens. Actually, we cut a little more. Now, let me roll that down on there. See if it, uh... There we go. That's a lot of weight, guys. Let me drive the tractor forward a little bit now. <laughs> uh, everything I do is like this. Just a mess. Now let's see what that does. If 
probably got going over the other side now. <laughs> oh no, it's going in there. Whew. We'll just let it go like that. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. today. Mess around with this stuff. You can see I'm go right here. We got a lot of it in there. But we're also getting close to being full. Not, well, no. I think we're going to get it all in there. Okay. I'll get back with you guys. Appreciate y'all. I know I've shared this as well, but you can take this right here. Is one of those, just like that right there. These tops that I made. You can take, I believe it's this side, the long side of the, uh, the chemical tote. See right here and cut, cut like about right there, all the way around. And it makes a perfect lid for them. It just fits right on them. Fits down on their snug. Uh, if I'm gonna leave them a long time, I do put a, a tie down on the top of them. But uh, look here, you can just cap these things off. It makes it waterproof. It still gets a little bit of ventilation in the sense, you know, I mean, if it, it can. Uh, but they fit all down over the edges. This one's fitting a little different here. I should have left it on that one. <laughs> but anyway, I got to put some more the other bag of corn in that one. Oh, on, it's hanging on everything. Here we go. But anyway, it works really well. Oh, there we go. That's hanging. Ah, this one's hanging everywhere, isn't it? Anyway, it works really well. No, it don't look like it right there. <laughs> But it really does. Yeah, it fits down on there good and snug. Really, you don't even need the time unless you're going down the road with them. Uh, they don't seem to blow off just from the regular wind, but they could. So we're gonna put this one over here. We got one more uh, sack to unload. And then I gotta clean up this mess. Uh, I think I'll grab this sack and carry it out here where I can get to it. Then we'll clean all this up. Then I'll set these totes in here. Then I'll have some here at the house. I wasn't gonna take it out to the farm, but I think I'll just use it here at the house because I'm always needing it right here. When I come in late at night, I can just get it without having to go all the way out there to restock my pickup. So that's where we're at. That's what we're doing today. Okay, guys. I got them all lids on them. All, everything's all sewed up. Is this OCD or something or whatever they call it? See how these two are crooked that way and not up against here and then line with